Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, CJ here from the Bass College. Um, got a quick unboxing here for you. Spoke to a few people yesterday um, on the forum. Finally got the Tatula. Um, heard a lot of great things about this reel. Um, I really have. Um, Daiwa makes great reels um, from everybody that I've talked to. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to get going here. This is going to be just kind of quick. I just want to do a quick unboxing, show you guys what it is if you guys don't know. Um, I didn't even open this yet. Here's the reel. Here's the box. Looks like you get, uh, yeah, you get instructions that aren't even in English. And that's all you get. You get no reel oil. You get no cover or nothing like that. So, it's probably how they keep the cost down a little bit on the reels. You know, if they go adding a bunch of stuff, then it gets a little pricier. So, here it is. Um... The new Daiwa Tatula. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this reel. Um, wow, that 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 really span it's been for a while. Um, it's got the new air rotation. I know that. Um, it's kind of like, you know, not like you're cranking air basically, but the, you know, this reel is super smooth. Um, it's kind of what it's supposed to simulate. Kind of like you're, you know, barely moving the handle a little bit. Um, I was a little hesitant about this reel at first because of the T-Wing stuff. Um, I don't want to say I heard bad reviews about it, but I know on Daiwa's previous reels, like the Zillion series, I think it is. I'm not too familiar with all their models, so pardon me if I'm incorrect, but I believe it is the Zillion that had the first T-Wing, this whole first, this deal right here. See how that does that? Reduces friction when you're casting and stuff like that, but anyway, the first reel that they implemented this with, it wasn't a complete fail, but it was... From what I've read, it was pretty much a fail. So um, I was kind of hesitant about it at first, just kind of was going to wait and see how things played out. All the reviews that I've read on this reel have been spot on. Um, people love the T-Wing design. They love the, uh, the line capacity on this. I think you're getting roughly 120 yards of 14-pound test fluorocarbon or monofilament. So it's pretty good. I'll be able to pack a lot of braid on this. Um, the only complaints that I've really heard about it is that some people say it's, like, big in their hand. I mean, I don't really have too big a hands, and, I mean, I can palm this real effortlessly. You know, real simple. Um, you know, fits in the hand great. Um, and then, you know, of, of course, everybody else's complaint is that, oh, well, it weighs too much. It, it, yeah, you're right, it does. It weighs almost 8 ounces. But, you know what, I'd rather have a solid reel in my hand than some you know, junk plastic like they pack into a lot of these reels nowadays that weigh 4.8 ounces and this and that. I don't need all that. That's fine. Um, most of my Chronarchs weigh, weigh around 7.5, 7.6 ounces, I believe it is to be exact anyway. So I'm kind of used to that. And really, what's what's like an ounce or two going to make really when you're on the water? I mean, does it, are you, you're you not even going to know. Let's put it to you that way. So, um, yeah, I think spins really nice. So... So yeah, I can't wait. You can see the spool spinning there? Man, it's been, yeah, it's still spinning. So, I think it's got around seven or eight bearings. Um, I like the new system they got going on here. The uh, the braking system goes from zero to zero to twenty in half increments. Seems like it's going to be a great reel. Um, probably going to use this for like some sort of frogging setup. It's got the high speed. Um, Hopefully I can get it on the water before the frogging season actually starts because you know, there's ice and stuff still on the ground here. So it's not like I'm going to be able to get to do a whole lot of frogging. But I'll get it out on the water and play with it. Do a more in-depth review uh, on down the road hopefully. And um, in the meantime, if you guys haven't already, check out the Bass College. Um, great site, great staff, great reports, great great people. Um, so if you haven't already, checked it out. And uh as always, take care, guys.